We're going to explore Gatlinburg, Tennessee. What a cute, quirky little town. Jason would like to try some moonshine and there is a moonshine distillery right in town so we're going to check it out. Dynamite cinnamon. That's the winner right there. We like that hazelnut. Yes, it is. Without the crust. Yeah. Peanut butter and jelly. All right, everybody. One, two, three. Uh, six up, knock it back. Peanut butter. Peanut This is a dark chocolate coffee. All right, everybody. One, two. And when you're in Gatlinburg, you sip moonshine. A lot of it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a lot of moonshine. <laughs> we are splitting it across two couples, to, right. to be clear. They'll also be clear, they're only having one of the, that's right. one of the jars. <laughs> Take a break and get some pizza at the Mellow Mushroom. Here's everything we got. Peppermint, maple bacon, which goes with the Bloody Mary mix. Peanut butter and jelly, that was my favorite. Apple pie, that's for our friends. Well, yeah, we're not luscious. We're not drinking all of this. Which one's the apple pie? Dark chocolate. Yeah. Apple pie. We're only gonna drink that many. <laughs> this one's for our, this one's for our friends. Dark chocolate coffee. Hazelnut rum. Fun day. Super fun. Look what we found in a strip mall in Pigeon Forge. If you're 50 years old or younger, you know exactly who that is. <laughs> the Dukes of Hazzard Museum run by Ben Jones, who played Cooter in the original TV show. This is a publicity car that was used, not actually in the show, but they drove it around for publicity. And it's signed on the dash by Tom Wopat in the top left, Luke Duke. Brian Cherry, who played Coy Duke. Remember when they replaced Bo and Luke in the last few seasons with Coy and Vance, their cousins? 
Did you have any of these Dukes of Hazard toys when you were little? I certainly did. My brothers and I loved watching that show. in at the Tennessee Shine Distillery for a little whiskey tasting, but I noticed this moon pie display here, and I'd never seen so many flavors of moon pies before, so I looked it up and moon pies were actually invented in Tennessee, and they're sort of like whoopie pies, I suppose, so I think I'll try some. We went for the mint, invented in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Oh, these are mini ones. All right, we'll try it out. They're like Thin Mints, but the difference is Moon Pies have a marshmallow filling. Whoopie Pies have frosting filling. They're good, but they're not the same. We're here in Tennessee with our friends, and they were just talking about how they're going to have to clean out their rig when they get home in a couple of days. And I thought, we can't clean out our rig when we get home because this is our home. So we have to do any kind of maintenance, deep cleaning, anything while we're on the road. So today we're gonna wash off our mats. They still have red clay on them from Virginia. I've still got pine needles in my truck from Cape Cod. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little cleaning today before we hit the road tomorrow. Tonight we are trying something brand new. Tomorrow we are leaving Tennessee and driving to Eastern North Carolina. The total trip should be around eight hours and that is longer than we have traveled to date. We've never traveled all that way in one day. Normally we would stop at a Harvest Host or a Boondockers Welcome Overnight, but we decided that we're going to try it all in one day. So. We are going to pack up everything we possibly can tonight. As you can see behind me, we've already put the slides in and all of the utilities have been put away except for the electric. So all of the water has been turned off, all of the sewer line has been put away. Um, we have a little bit of fresh water in our tank so we can still use the water, we're just not getting it from the external hose. So hopefully this will make things much easier to get out of here in the morning. We're going to try to leave about 8.30, which is a couple hours before we usually get out of here. Uh, we spent a, two hours tonight packing up everything, and so hopefully in the morning it will be smooth sailing. There go Mike and Julie. Bye, friends. We had a great week. This was such a wonderful week here in Tennessee with our friends. Wow, what a great vacation week for us too. Even though we were working, we really felt like we were more on vacation this week. Yeah, and I, I went way more in vacation mode myself mm -hmm. uh, as well. And the idea of, we were always looking forward to eventually doing this, but this was a surprise from our friends, Mike and Julie, mm -hmm. to do, uh, you know, it's called different things, but I call it buddy camping, uh, you know, just doing it together was really a great way to experience the week. Uh, we all had our own routines as well, went and did our own stuff, but then we're able to get together every once in a while. And we, were, we did things together about half of the days, maybe? Yeah. We took a couple days just by ourselves. And about half the day them. of half of the days. Like, like yeah. we weren't on top of each other at all. It was great. We are on the road to North Carolina. Getting out this morning wasn't quite as fast as I had thought. Um, with packing up the night before, turns out that it only saved us maybe 20 to 30 minutes, which is still, that's something, but probably not worth doing it again, having all the slides in the night before. So that was a yeah. good experiment well, for us. And part of that is, since we both do stuff, 
I happen to go a little faster in the morning. Lisa tends to like doing way more stuff the night before. So while she's doing her morning routine, I'm quickly putting stuff away outside. So really it, it all lines up kind of the same anyways if uh, in the morning. So if we want to save 20, and I bet we could probably squeeze 40 minutes out of by doing the stuff the night before, we could do it. We'd probably rather just get up 30 to 45 minutes earlier. Yeah. <laughs> honestly. But this is gonna be our longest travel day yet. Probably about eight hours, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, so. with stops, it, it might be a nine hour start to finish. Of, yeah, uh, we'll get there by dinner time. Well, it'll still be light out. So, uh, we'll see you there. A lot of RVs on the move this morning in Pigeon Forge. Coming in, going. People <laughs> checking out, and then maybe some people coming in. Or maybe they're just going a different direction.